Let me do it. You want to talk about it? We gon' talk about it. You want to talk about it? The Hollywood of the South. We can talk about it. The Hollywood of the South. We can talk about it. The Hollywood of the South. Hold it, hold it. Right. <laughs> you know the show. <laughs> we are the back on light. WCEG Wood, the Hollywood of the South. I'm Ward Richardson, your host, wow. and we are back with Shamita J, my co-host. Hey, and my guest Shemita Don Shemita. Halfkenny. <laughs> Hello, and Trey Cheney. What's up with it? So before we went to break, we had a really deep discussion about relationships because <laughs> in being in acting or singing and yeah. being and, and involving yourself with different people and stuff in the industry, you have to be with somebody who is understanding and who can support you through mm -hmm. whatever you go through in this industry. Cause you have your ups and your downs, but will you be can you be with somebody who's gonna ride with you? Mm. Is there somebody out there who's gonna ride with you through everything? Yep. So Mr. Cheney Hill was explaining his relationship with his wife, you know, went into some deep details about their journey and stuff in, 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 during his acting career and how his wife supported him and everything. And I got asked a question <laughs> before we went to break. So, because I'm so open and transparent, I, will, I have to ask the question. But I'm going to ask, what was the question again? I just need to understand what that question was one more time. So when it comes to relationships, <laughs> mm -hmm. where are you with that? Okay. <clears throat> I am single. All right. And I would like to get married. That is my ultimate goal mm -hmm. because I'm at a place in my life where I'm just tired of dating. I think dating is kind of overrated. <laughs> so I'm looking for somebody who can, you know, support my career and I can support their career. We can be the best of friends. I like to travel. I like to see the world. Just like we go in there, go to Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? And stuff. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of goals. I'm launching my film company, Rain Dance Films. I have four feature films, two TV series, and it's all associated with LA and everything. So I'm flying back and forth to oh, LA yeah. doing a few things. So right. I got some major things about to pop off starting this summer. And it's going to take me a lot of time, a lot of traveling, you know, and, you know, trying to date has been kind of on and off because, mm -hmm. you know, once you start dating someone and you start getting to know them and then you have, you know, a lot of things going on, sometimes those challenges come and then you're just like, oh, man, it was good for a minute. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and But truthfully, you know, when, you, when you're when doing this job, it's, you just don't know, like, What's gonna come? Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know what your schedule is gonna be like. Like you could be like this weekend coming. I don't have nothing coming up on Monday. Mm -hmm. By Wednesday, booked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, booked. Yes. And then they, and then it's like hosting. Like I host, I do everything. So I get paid for a lot of that stuff. So you know, that's some paper job, man. You know I mean? sure. Work Check and <laughs> you know you yeah. do that, and then you act, and then you work a regular job, and you do this. And I mean, it's just you know. It's just hard sometimes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, um, I love making money. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure as everyone else do. Um, I love my kids. I, I try to spend a lot of time with them. So it takes. And with some of the roles I get, you know, like I just did a role, the last project I did, which I got Penny in, a role in. She was just like, if you get anything, let me know. I said, okay. <laughs> Couple of days later, I said, "You remember when you asked me if I get you anything?" <laughs> I said, "Not only did I get you something, but it's speaking lines." So, okay. yeah. But um, but in that in that TV series, you know, I think that we had I had a few sex scenes in it, and, and I'm like, <laughs> the only thing I had was a sock over the front. So, <laughs> so I mean, that was. <laughs> I that you was going to say that over here, Trey. I look no. at Trey, Trey looking at me like, "Ooh, thank that... goodness we had to have nothing like that." <laughs> that was the role. Like it was something like you seen uh, Insecure, yeah, uh, and stuff. It's similar on that level, you know, that type of stuff. Uh, power, you know, that kind of thing. So I was just like, you know, hey, you know, I knew it was coming. <laughs> Let's make it happen, you know. And it was a great. It was very professional. 
It was a great shoot. Um, they had it like locked down, like locked down, mm-hmm. locked down. So, you know, and then we did what we had to do, and it was rap, you know. And I was like, okay, this was cool. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's stuff like that that I may have to do. And yeah. I've been doing yeah. this now for like 15 years. But see, you know, once you do something and, you know, you with somebody and they just like, man, then they see the girl <laughs> or whatever that, you know, they just like, yeah, you got to go through this, all these questions being asked mm-hmm. and all that. I just, for me, like when I've dated people and they, they're in this industry, I don't even ask questions because I pretty much understand how it goes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? In fact, I dated someone and we was on a scene together and I was actually directing the scene and the girl, I said, dude, kiss her right here. That's a spot. <laughs> <laughs> she was just, and then I walked out the room, handle your business. You know what I mean? Because I, it don't bother me. Like, cut. All right. You know cut. And she was just like, <gasps> I was just like, hey, we got to get this magic going. You know what I'm saying? And I walked out the room. But see, that's just, you know, me because wow. I'm just not insecure like that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, make this magic happen. Let's do this. We can be done and go on to the next scene. You know, um, but it's hard to find other people who think like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because most women experience men cheating and all that kind yeah. of stuff. And, you know, they go through stuff and it carries with them, you know. So it's just hard. And I understand what they go through and, you know, and stuff. So it's you just got to find somebody who can hang in there, who can trust you. And like you said, communication is key because I put everything on the table. You got to, man. I put everything on the table. I show the scripts. I show, I say, look, this is, a, this is what I got to do. This, <laughs> you know, and everything. And it's, okay, cool. But, you know, you just have to communicate. You have to be open. You have to be honest. Yeah. You know, you have to, you know, because, you know, I, and it's it's just, just don't ask questions you don't want the answer to. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, well, are you attracted to her? Nah, she ugly. <laughs> nah, she, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, she's a pretty girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's I mean, funny. that's is the truth is the truth, you mm-hmm. know? Right. So, um, there's nobody here who can't, you know, who could be around some, you know, can say that they don't see somebody who they think is attractive. It's just nature right. of life. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, you just have to have a strong friendship, mm-hmm. a strong commitment to each other. You have to communicate. You have to like each other. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just simply mm-hmm. like each other. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. And that and that will carry you a long way. You know what I mean? Just <laughs> just that stuff. You know? So Don. Cause Don, Don had hey, man, the when famous you were talking, Don when had you were King. talking, Don was like this. <laughs> My mind wanders a lot. Ah, uh, your mind was somewhere. That, that's like I said, it's black love right there. I'm, root, I'm rooting. I'm rooting. That's what's up. Yeah. I'm still, <laughs> I'm still, oh, oh, you mean answer the yes. question? Oh, uh, <laughs> what question? <laughs> right. What was the question again? Um, Ask no, her the um, same question you asked oh, me, please. <laughs> no, I, I know. Um, for me, you know, I just like being single. I That's like good. being single, you know, from, I mean, do I want to get married one day? Yeah, one day, but you know, later and later, later, you know, I like, I like being single. I like moving the way I move, you know, I, I like coming home when I want to come home. I like not having to be questioned about yeah. anything, you right. know, and I mean, I know that right. that takes, you know, being in a relationship, I love so hard. So when I'm in a relationship, I'm like, hey, y'all, bye. I'm in a relationship. You know, I cut everybody out. <laughs> I bye. cut everybody out. I'm like, it's me and my man. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so, I, you know, I'm like, I feel like, you know, I've been in relationships in the past and, you know, I've done that now. I'm just mm-hmm. taking time out for John. So Why it's was like, it hard you know, for you? Like, why um, did it, like, what was the consensus? Um, it wasn't so, I think it was just more of like a, um, a, an understanding type of thing. It was, it was, like you said, you know, being in this industry is kind of hard when you see mm-hmm. very attractive um, other individuals and you, you know, how do you explain to someone else or how do you, even on set, this was crazy. I, rem- I would never forget this. I was on set and we were on set for 16 hours with no service. So mm-hmm. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is like this, like walking around trying, trying to get service so they can reach their significant others. I'm like, I'm good. Like, I ain't got to check in with nobody. I'm good, you know? Yeah. So, um, but I think it's just a level of respect that you have to have for your significant other, you know? And for me, I'm just taking the time out for Don. You know, I'm 
traveling, you know, leaving when I want to leave, coming back when I want to come back. Having you know? fun. Yeah, you definitely fun. traveling. We know you that. Know, you know, I'm living oh, a yeah. life. Oh, yeah. Sis, sis out here working. She traveling. Life is amazing. So, you know, I have no complaints. So I will say, but I turn on that TV, I'll be like, I'm like, is that dumb? <laughs> yeah. Like, I see you on a lot of stuff. You know, it's funny that so you, you say that busy. because I feel like I need to be doing so much more. You know what? I say the same thing. Yeah. People see me on stuff, I be like, because it's the it's a it's a TV, it's a movie out right now called The Thirty Day Rule. Somebody mm-hmm. text me or sh- screenshot me like mm-hmm. I'm sitting here looking at Ward Everton in this movie, da da da, and I be like. Oh, cool now. I need mm-hmm. to be doing something else, though. That, I did that already. <laughs> yeah, you be yeah. like, I did that like a year ago. Right. Like, that, that'd be the crazy thing. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Like, I'm always that thinking of sense. things that I can, you know, I was like, okay, so I'm, I'm doing this now. What what can I be doing? What seeds can I be planting now that's right. going to manifest next year? Mm-hmm. You know right. what I mean? Or, you know, five years from now. So I'm always planning and thinking ahead. Mm-hmm. You know, so I'm like, you know, I mean, yeah. yeah, so that's, I mean, that's a smart thing to do. You know, we're in this business. We don't know where our next job or check is going to be. So we always and have that's to make the sure. Thing. We, yeah. We have to line things up, you know, yeah. in, in a proper yeah. way. So, yeah. I feel you on mm-hmm. that though, Water, about, about Dawn. Cause I, I, I always text her when, when she's on something mm-hmm. or even if it, even if I hit her and say, Dawn, me and wifey, you know, DVR <laughs> this and you were on it. Like yeah. what men want? Right. She was just in that movie with Taraji, yeah. and I was like, "Yeah." I mean, to to see you know your sister on previews, national I gotta say though, previews. That's, that's, you yeah. like, yo, that that's, that's inspiring, you know. And, right. and I mean, because I think you know we don't like Don said we don't necessarily know when that next job might yeah. come. Right. I mean, you yeah, you, you be working. I mean, and, and even with with stuff that you might already be on, you just don't you don't know with this business. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> at the same time, you gotta be you you gotta you gotta really be ready mm-hmm. for whatever comes your way. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because something could, you know, something anything could come up. You could be like, yo, all right, I'm working one minute and then it might be a period of time where you don't work. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But but anytime one thing one thing that I I like to see is my other fellow act actors and actresses mm-hmm. get Doing work. Anything. You know what yeah, I'm saying? That's what I'm saying like I that's think good. the coolest thing is like when you're looking at TV and you know some of the people that you've been around. You can stuff, call them. Just like yo, because <laughs> I do it when Charmin Charmin Lee. Lee that's the, yeah, oh, I, I see her. that woman every yeah. time. Almost every time I turn the TV on, mm-hmm. I see that woman. Yeah, and I be like. I take a snapshot into it. Just looking at you on TV. Right, <laughs> right. And she just tells me back, laugh out loud. Yeah. <laughs> and uh that's what we normally so do. Awesome. We yeah. we say laugh out loud. Yeah. Like, yeah. LOL. Yeah. I mean, because <laughs> you don't know what to say. You don't know what to say. Like, say. Excited, <laughs> um, I do. Yeah. I mean, because I'm gonna be honest, I I like for people to see me on TV. Yeah. I'll be like, oh, you seen that joint? Like, yeah. how did I do? Like, yeah, because I mean, you work hard too. You go man. and you give your all for this scene and stuff. And then somebody see it, they're like, yo, this is yeah. cool. You somebody know? to re- to be recognized, you know? That's I mean, it's, now, you know, the funny part has anybody ever approached you and it's like, oh, you know what? Well, you see, for you, it's different because your first project was The Wire. For me, it was an independent project. Right. And it's wow. Like, they're like, I just saw you. I'm like, no, I have better than b- bigger things going on now. Like, I'm working. <laughs> Right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, so it was like they like, yeah, I, I just saw you in that block in the well, that blockbuster DVD, whatever. I'm just like, oh yeah, man, yeah. it was like an independent film. Mm-hmm. That was right. like my first acting job. And I'm just like, oh man. But like, no, that's what act, happens y'all. a lot. I mean, yeah. a lot of a lot of independent work we do. Mm-hmm. Like I like I always tell like other actors and actresses to to don't ever look at a project as being too small or too big. Right. right. It ain't it ain't no such thing. You as don't that. know where it, that joker gonna go. You you don't know you where it's gonna know. go. Like, I mean, independent projects that I did five, six years ago that's just getting mm-hmm. recognition. Right. I, I right. like I I did that like five years ago. Right. Yeah. Literally this just getting picked up by major distribution yeah. companies. Right. You know, Pure Flix just picked up a film that I I co produced and I started in it's called Six Hearts One Beat. And it's about, you know, my character falling in love with a young lady with four kids. And um, mm-hmm. for years and years, we shopped this film, shopped it, shopped it, never got no response, turned down a bunch of times. Mm-hmm. But it was just something about not giving up on the film, on, on the film. Mm-hmm. you know, let's let's just keep putting it out there and let's get it hot on the street. Let's let's do it like if it, if it was a CD 
or a mixtape and i related it to music let's let's sell it let's right. let's get people yeah. to to watch it i mean because it's some great acting in it you know mm-hmm. and, and a lot of the actors they may not have ever done what we consider mainstream being right, on national right. television like right. me but i'm like no y'all did a great job and this film is going to get picked up and right. I'm, I'm happy that pure flicks as of um March first, picked up this nice. film and gave me my first national distribution deal, and um, That's dope. and it's yeah, I appreciate Round it. I mean, because it, but but it just goes to show to never don't don't give up on a craft. You never right. know when you never know what's going to pop, yeah. and then treating other people in the business like you want to be treated. Oh yeah, man. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. it's no set to me. Yeah, people. Yeah, I'm an extra. No, you're not. You're a regular. Yeah. Person mm-hmm. getting work just like me. Yeah. I I'm not looking at you no different. Right. I'm gonna right. sit with you. I you mm-hmm. need a plate made. I make you a plate, whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. I don't. Right. I, I I like that that whole thing of being treated equal to everybody because yeah. you never know Stay that humble. one person is playing the extra could pop up and be that person that you got. This this one need yeah. to give yeah. you a job. That, so I don't. Let me tell you, that true. has happened so many. Oh times. yeah, it, it's happening that today. Happened to me. It happened yeah, it to happens me all I the time. Back in the day. I had some, you know, um, some stuff going on, and I was talking to these people, and man, they treated me so crazy. Yeah. And then next thing you know, I'm I'm casting for this big movie. Your I'm movie. Walking in, mm-hmm. <laughs> and they looked at me like I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gave that joint. You gave yeah. that like. <laughs> like go ahead and just walk out. <laughs> <laughs> because, but see, I'm not even like that. You right. know what I'm saying? Because right. I still would like to give them a chance if they could do it. They could mm-hmm. do it because I want to show a better side. Right. Yeah, you man. know what I'm saying. Just because you was that way with me, don't mean I got to be that way with me. That put me on the same page as you are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. So I always try to turn the other cheek and just do the right thing every time. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's just me though. When they go low, you go high. But don't think, <laughs> uh, Miss Shamita, that you're gonna avoid your own question. What's Uh-oh. the question? You, your question. Oh, the relationship. <laughs> Sh- Shamita, Shamita said, "I don't know." What's the no, question? I'm with Don. Like I'm single, happily mm-hmm. single, um, by choice. It's just easier to figure figure me out right Mm -hmm, now mm -hmm. and making sure that the platform i have a daughter she's like my world and like between trying to make sure i'm good and she's good Mm -hmm. we don't really have time for not good (laughs) (laughs) you know what i mean so i'm like patiently on god's timing that's it Mm -hmm. like i'm cool i'm open to love all that stuff is beautiful my last relationship taught me a lot a lot of what not to accept. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I feel you. No, I feel you. okay. Like, I lowered the standards a little bit, and I learned. I learned. I learned from that. And I'm yeah. cool with that right now. I feel you on that. Yeah. That's what, that's, I think that's part of life is learning, man. You Every day stuff, is a learning you learn, experience. You grow, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, I love that. And really taking one day at a time, too. Absolutely. You know, I mean, it's cool to think about. The future and everything. Oh, uh, this is this is where where I'm going to be. But you still gotta like be focused on what's going on today. Today, mm-hmm. like and really like mastering your time. That's what I'm. That's what I'm working right. on now. Yeah. Every single minute, hour, my time has to be mastered. I don't have time to waste time right. at all. Exactly. You know. Sure. So it's I'm, even if I'm jotting down, like okay, I came to WC. W C E G today I did it, you know what I'm saying? I, I gotta I gotta master my time to really mm-hmm. whatever I do today is gonna reflect what's going on tomorrow exactly. right. and the next day. You know? And that's why I love doing this show because it gives people a platform to promote themselves. Right. Most you know what I'm saying? Because we got a lot of people watching us right now. I don't know what's up, y'all. A Peace. Lot of people. So Troy Peace. Bland been talking to to you for the longest. Uh-oh. You know Troy Bland. <laughs> That's my boy. Everybody, <laughs> Troy is the nicest guy. He is yeah, just oh a great my, guy. With the biggest heart. Yes. Yeah. Yes. What's up, Troy? So, um, my next question is: If you had a character that you haven't played, somebody mm-hmm. called you and said, "We want you to play." What what character would be like? Oh my god, I've been waiting for this role forever. Um, that's two characters <clears> I really, really want to play, and it's one of them is like a psychotic character because I feel like you know, um, judged. And it's like, mm-hmm. I, you know, and I, people, I, I feel like people look at me like, oh, she's a, she's a nice girl. And it's like, no, Uh-oh. let me turn it up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you crazy? 
crazy. Let me go 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 crazy. Hey, she said it. Right. She right. said it. No, but you know, my, 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 one of my favorite movies is Orphan. And mm. if you remember, she was a um, little person who um, the family adopted her thinking that, you know, she was a young girl. That chunk was wild. Crazy. Yeah. That's what I was <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, yeah. I, you know, I, I am going to be that character one day. Like being but, able, I think movies where you have to be different people, like split. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Split. Mm-hmm. That yeah. right there. I just want to be able to. Something like that. Exactly. Yeah, just be able to let go. Like gotcha. let go as a like, as a dawn. You know, just take this back. Like you know, mm-hmm. get, get give me some Cleo braids or whatever the situation right. from set it off. You know, what I'm saying no <laughs> makeup or nothing like that. That's the character and I want to play. Just psychotic, just crazy, crazy. So then, yes, and the people are like hmm. she. That is real. You know, this. So I want someone to be like she been there before. <laughs> yeah, you know what, Don? You've been speaking that for a minute too. I, I, that's about it's to happen for you, nah? Because dog, I heard you say that before, yeah. and that's that's gonna happen for you. I'm telling you. Yeah, like that's yeah, that's, it's gonna come. That's oh, tight. Yeah, that's, that's that's yeah. So what, what about you? I think for me, I I want to I want to take on the role of playing a teacher. <laughs> like I'm, I mean, seriously, because I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like my my roles have since the wire, um. You know the dr- the drug dealer, the <laughs> the street dude, which is I'm I don't knock any of those roles because I loved playing them. I mean, even this character that I'm playing on Saints and Sinners, who's broken, who you know didn't really know his mom and dad, had to meet him, going through all this stuff with his family, emotional roller coaster type vibe he got going on. I think it's time for me to step into like a whole nother role that nobody would be used to. Sing and right. and I say it a teacher because I'm like, hmm, that's something that that I would really definitely educate myself on, you know, before I take on the role. Like, let me let me sit at some schools, and and it's funny because with my music, I speak a lot at schools, so I'm like, I'm seeing how these teachers got to interact with these kids, and yeah. mm-hmm. at one minute you'll be like, yo, I don't I don't know if I want to be no teacher, right. I don't want to be dealing with nobody yeah. else's kid, it's but then you'd be like. That would be challenging mm-hmm. if I had to portray a character like that yeah. in the actors or, you know, the young actors or actresses or even the, even the other actors and actresses in the project. You know, just me being having a starring role as a teacher. I, I yeah. think that's something that I definitely want to not think. Right. I know I, I know that's something that I definitely want to want to do. Right. OK. And, you know, for me, I will ask you, but you. I got a question for you though. We I want to, if I could be an okay. actor. What you want to be? <laughs> if I could be an actress or role, I would want to be a, like, criminal. <laughs> Why we not? Maybe, no, 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 no. I got it. I got it. I do have it. I've always wanted to be like the heroine girl, like, um, like Catwoman doing stunts and stuff. <laughs> no, like so seriously. Okay, that's dope. I love those kind of movies. Like I love like Eon Flux. I just love women. I mean, they, she was women in power. Bad yeah. chick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whooping, kicking butt, all that. Yeah. I love that. I think that's I so definitely dope. want to be a superhero too. Yeah. I Marvel. Think call that's me. been the note. And when I call me Marvel, I'm like here. I'm ready. <laughs> right, that's and I'm dope, ready to right? get I'm ready to I'm ready to build up my body. I'm ready to get it. You know what I'm saying? I want to go for a flare. I want. Right. <laughs> I want to go hard because I be going to. I be taking so you're not my son do to the, the body movies. suit. Nah, <laughs> I want to get myself right. I, I want to be full flare. All in. I be taking my son and I be my son be like, Dad, you going? I can see you playing. Ah, I be fun. like, I, I got to do it for my kid. I have yeah. to. If no one that's knows. that's like the number one answer that people say they want to play a superhero and. uh I mean, ain't nothing wrong with that. I, I, I mean, I would love to play a superhero myself. Yeah. But I've always wanted to play a, another person. Like um, like Jamie Foxx played Ray Charles. Oh, okay. man. Yeah, you know, dope. Something like that. Like, I would love to have to emulate a person to a T. Wow. Mm. Who? Do you have you know that person saying? in mind? I don't know. It'd just be anybody. anybody You'd be I like fit, an MJ. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody I fit, you know, because I think when you can go to the length to like actually mock a person, mm-hmm. like that's some strong acting right there. Mm-hmm. That's some it strong is. studying. It is. I think because like with Jamie Foxx, he said he had to walk around with blinded just to see how it he got feels. dedicated. Yeah. Right. He let himself go. That's like right. Michael B. Jordan on Creed. I mean, yeah. he got dedicated, you know, mm-hmm. getting right. getting his body like that. I yeah. mean, I mean, those people yeah. he trained with, man, that that's a 
that's real. Like you, you really gotta be focused and dedicated on those type of roles. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, I, when I to play a really bad person, I did that. Mm -hmm. That was one of my biggest things. I that was when I did this movie called The Last Time that's airing on Aspire TV right now. Make sure y'all check that out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which one was it? Play it's called The Last Time with um Reese. Yeah, Reese Odom. Yeah. I seen that man. You was dope on that. Yeah, I like that <laughs> joint. Man, I, I'm thinking about it. I'm like, wait a minute. I knew I had no for real. Yeah. That, I, I really liked that. I went to the premiere of that. Yeah, I, was, I yeah, really that liked was, it. That yeah. was me and her. I got booed. <laughs> yeah, they, Reese. and it was the best best boo ever. Oh. <laughs> I'm telling you, because I was awful in that movie. Man, it was it was good. It really that touched was on my, domestic violence. People, yeah, and people ask me all the time, man, how did you get in that role? I was like. Thought about my kids. Mm -hmm. Somebody hurt my kids. I'm gonna yeah. go insane. God. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that took me to that level. That was a good film. You know, I like that. And it's still airing right now on Aspire TV. But that movie right there in itself actually catapulted me because they said take one, and it catapulted me into a whole bunch of other different stuff, including this radio show. Oh. Wow. Because she interviewed me and and uh, and uh, then when I first got the show. Penny's request was to interview Reese because mm -hmm. <laughs> she saw the movie. Mm -hmm. So we was in here just clowning. That was the first show I, I mm -hmm. did. And um, it was that that movie was very, very deep. Yeah. Shout out to Reese. Reese too, is man. a real yeah. Reese has been a close friend of mine for years. Probably. You know, we just been close. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. when I had to do that, I'm just like, oh my God, I don't want to touch you. Like, <laughs> you know, and then you all light, you know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's real. You know, but it was. <laughs> It was a, it was a, it was a very, very good experience to have to play a role like that because I was evil. You were, man. You evil, were. Now that I think about it, man. that joint was wild. Evil. Yeah, I, re I went to the like, premiere of that. Yeah, <laughs> evil. I mean, I had people scared to talk to me after the movie. Oh, wow. like, they wouldn't even come near me. <laughs> I was acting. How did you well, prepare for a role like that? Whew. Well, number one, you know, uh, Tyler Perry is the king of doing <laughs> movies like that with dudes beating up on women and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. <laughs> so I did my little research there. But then, you know, like I said, I'm a, I'm a movie buff. So I watch movies all gotcha. the time. And I love watching all types of movies. And I, every time I see a movie, I imagine myself playing the roles. I've always done that. Mm -hmm. So when I was um, preparing for that, I started thinking of all these movies I saw, you know, um, and when I got to set and I read my script, I had in my mind exactly how I'm going to play this role out, you know, and when you wit, because I also helped produce that movie as well. Yeah. So when you wit a person like Reese who mm -hmm. can act really well, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's easy to portray your, pull your character out because her fear had to match my intensity. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If it didn't match, it's not going to make sense. Right. So I had to come hard, mm -hmm. you know, and with people like that, they that kind of pushes you with mm -hmm. the whole acting. Like, mm -hmm. you like, it's not going to make sense. If she, mm -hmm. I got to scare the crap out of this woman. You know, <laughs> yeah. it's got to look like it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I had to come even harder. Right. And that's the kind of stuff that drives me, you know, because I love working with people that can Help they can push you, mm -hmm. yeah, push mm -hmm. you and stuff in, in film. Mm -hmm. That's that's deep. So, anyway, mm -hmm. that's the whole thing about that. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> now, yeah. what was the most challenging thing for you in music? We never got on that because, the most challenging thing. you know, with music, music is some, it's some tough. That's a tough thing. Music is tough. Let me tell you, I used to, I used to, I, I rapped before. Okay, say something. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 let me hear uh -oh. about to bust a move. Hey, hey. I opened for some, some, some people down in Florida and stuff, but, but that, that industry is so crazy. <laughs> like, it really is, It's man. crazy, man. It and is. I, and I mean, I'm like fighting producers and there. It's just crazy. It's a lot of, it's crazy. Uh, it was crazy. And for women, it's, it's harder. <laughs> yeah, for what I understand, because they always want you to do some crazy stuff in order to get studio time and all this kind of stuff. Unless you got a great manager to protect you mm -hmm. and be there with you and stuff like that. So I hear a lot of different stories. It's definitely a crazy industry. Uh, for me, being from Tampa, Florida, like we're a smaller, more consumer market. There hasn't been like a major artist from my city yet. Right. So, so that's going to be that one. 
I'm her. <laughs> she is that one. <laughs> I'm here, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, that was difficult just figuring out the business because okay. there's the talent, which is awesome. You can sing all day long, everybody's wedding, funeral, talent show. That's going to happen. But when you're trying to. Business. Right. When you're yeah. trying to get to another stage of it, you really have to understand where the money comes from. Mm-hmm. And how you gain respect, you know what I mean? Right. And then that's when you start having to understand, okay, I am a brand. Okay, I get money through publishing. Okay, he's mm. a scammer. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Why got to be a he? She said it's so casual. He's a scammer. He's, he's a, a scammer. scammer. But I mean, learning all of that, and I was really going at it independently, I thought I had friends, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. The whole while, I was really going at it by myself. Because people are normally moving for self mm-hmm. most wow. of the time. Yeah. That's so real. Getting through that period of learning how to read people, I really had to become a business. Like Jay Z one time, I'm a business man. Like you really have to become a, a full business within yourself mm-hmm. because you have to protect your image at all times. You have to know, even if you do have a manager, it's like sometimes you need to go af- behind the manager. And do to your own ensure, thing. Mm-hmm. no, just to ensure you're not getting ripped off. You know what right. I mean? I'm. You guys seen the stories? Mm-hmm. TLC done been through it. Yeah, man. Like, how are you so the many top people. artists mm-hmm. and you filing bankruptcy? But I think <laughs> with a, with a lot of that, it comes with a lot of people don't really with music. It's like it's, it's not like acting where you got classes. Now I think Russell Simmons put together classes or something like that, from mm-hmm. what I understand, but. With with music, it's kind of like you you on a like this whole path where you got to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, that's you true. You know what I mean? And you yeah. just got to try to meet the right people to mm-hmm. connect the dots that you need. There's you no know? organization, right? Because you guys have stuff set up, right? But there's, I mean, you have your publishers, your your ASCAPs and BMIs, but. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? You sign up, that's cool. And if you knew how to sign up properly in order to chase the record, that'll eventually give you some sort of royalty. Yeah. That learning that in itself is a one part of the business. You know right. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Right. So I, I would say learning the business was definitely one of the difficult things. And I had to like become tough. Mm-hmm. Like I'm a southern bell, like, oh my gosh, optimism all day long. But I have to be able to sit in a room and be able to read someone real quick. Hell, I mean, no, I cannot do business with me. <laughs> no, you just have to. I think I, I I had to learn how to say no. Like every yeah. opportunity is not a good one. A good one. Yeah. And so, I remember I met you at the Women in Film. Yes. You their Christmas party. That Christmas yeah. party. And, <laughs> and you was walking by, you stopped me, you like, hey. What, what do you do? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I told you what I did. We exchanged information. We, we've been following each other ever since. And um, and I've been, like, watching your stuff. Because mm-hmm. one thing I like to do is I like to see us doing what we love. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, I'll I be going on Don's page and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. I just started going on your page. And I was looking <laughs> at your music videos and stuff like that. But I just like seeing... You know, people seeing people out here things, working, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. what they got to do on working, set, working. you know, that just, it just working, makes you feel good. And then <laughs> when you got movies like Black Panther that's taking over, and, oh yeah, and, and and the other movie that just uh, Us is doing real good. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, but, that was um, great, Jordan really good. Hill. So you got these amazing directors, these black filmmakers mm-hmm. that is just blowing up now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? When at first we was in the back, mm-hmm. now we coming yeah. to the front. Yep. Now they're willing yep. to put money in us, yep. to give us money, because now they see we got a market. Right. Yeah. But it, it took years. You know what I mean? That's it right. took That's a so lot true. of years. <laughs> you know what That's I'm saying? So and true. It's 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 just humbling and it's great seeing the change and the the mm. blessings that we starting to get. Now we still got other stuff going on in other places. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when it when I, I'm just sitting and watching the 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 film industry taking a shift, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And it's taking a, a big shift mm-hmm. because now it's not even all about going to the theaters to see movies now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, it's everything is streaming. It's streaming, yep. You know, yeah. YouTube got a streaming site. Everybody yeah. got a streaming site. It's all about <laughs> streams. Yeah. It is. Even with music, streaming. like you were stating, um, a real good point you touched on was, you know, I, I've i been doing music. You know, I started off in music. Mm-hmm. 
and I was I was very you know thankful and fortunate to have the platform I I had in acting, which kind of like set me up to go back to the music gotcha. and say, this is how I'm gonna do it now, which mm-hmm. is really stay independent. Um, the whole publishing aspect of things, that's what I'm into. You know, I'm signed up through BMI. And when I write songs, I got a little system set up, me and my team, but we can submit. I, I'm still getting royalties off of a record that I wrote called Self Made Star that's on um, the Jamesy Boy soundtrack. It was a mm-hmm. film that they shot some years ago. Not only was I featured in the film, but they featured uh, my song. You know, so to be independent, to get those type of opportunities, that's kind of like where you want to, yeah, where you want to mm-hmm. be at. And then, um, but see, independent in in music now is popping now. That that that's, that's what, what it is. Yeah, like, and 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 that and for artists that's out here listening, you don't have to be so quick to drop a full album. No, right. now I'm doing singles. I I put out a single. I got a visual with it. You hopping, you getting on them blogs, Double right. XL, yeah. Karen Civil. Absolutely. When you start getting on them main type blogs, that's when your traffic, as far as fan base, start moving it up. It starts picking right. up. And then, I mean, like I said, most of the people that I open up for, I mean, I got to shout out, you know, Bell Bib DeVoe, Bobby Brown, Snoop Dogg. Um, mm-hmm. These are the people that I open for, you know, right. that already somewhat had a relationship with me just because of they fans of The Wire. Right. right. But at the same time, I'm approaching the music business. From this independent angle, like, okay, I'm not rushing to sign a record deal. Yeah. Right. Because I could do everything from my house. You right. Know? right. My right. friend around the corner, my brother, he got a studio. He mixes and masters, like, radio Quality, hits, yeah. you know? So it's like, and and all this stuff is about is consistency, even yeah. with movies. This is true. I put Can't this thing out on Instagram last week where I said- I'm about to start dropping movies, quality films like mixtapes because you, you, we got those platforms now. Yeah. You'll be surprised. Mm-hmm. You, you do a movie on your own, get with some friends, y'all put a budget together. You'll be surprised who will look at that and want to pick that up. Right. right. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and everybody. Because most people don't even take the time to get that organized. So, you they ahead don't. of the game if you can just. Get four people to agree and put something together. Only four, like <laughs> yeah. or two, yeah. like or really. Two. Like, yeah, yep. It's biblical. <laughs> or two, That's or three real. Agree, like come on, like you already headed the game. That's dope. That is dope. Mm-hmm. So, what's the next thing up for you, Don? Like you know, uh, you you producing? Yes, I am. I'm producing. Um, I, had, I actually started this project uh, with Mr. Mark Harris, who is located in Chicago. He's yeah. an independent film. Shout out to Mark. Yeah, Mark is Call me true. Mark. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But, um, you know, we actually we talked about this project a, f- a few years ago. And we, he said, you know, well, let's just go ahead and shoot it. So we actually shot the pilot. And then we came together uh, last year. To, yeah, last year. And then we shot um, like uh, a few... Uh, we shot volume one of it. So we, we call it as Black and Privileged Volume One. And um, it's just been doing very well. I'm so excited. I just was able to announce that, you yeah. know, the top network over in Africa, which is MNET, which stands for Media Network, yeah. um, picked it up. What? So congrats on that. I seen that. I seen that. Yeah, yeah. congrats on Congratulations. that. Congratulations. For real. Yeah, that's awesome. So, um, when really you reach across. That. Cross see because they watch more of our movies. Yeah. Than they we watch do. everything. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, so, they're supporters. You get yeah. that. You get that foreign. Yeah, that foreign. man. Just yeah, telling you. So I'm. I'm really excited about that. Um, you know, and I'm just also just continuing to write on my book about my mother, as I spoke of before. She, mm-hmm. um, you know, she battled cancer, and I feel very blessed to have um to have had her in my life for so long. And she, you know, she actually loved me in. You know, I, I look at so many people or so, so many parents who don't have real relationships with their children. I'm like, man, like, y'all don't understand. You only get one mom. Yeah. You know, you only get one yeah. mom. And, you know, I cherish all my the My mom was at my birthday have. party. She yeah. disabled and everything. She came yeah. up in there. That's yeah. When they brought yeah. that cake, cake out to me, she went right through that crowd and said, right next to me. Uh, yeah. You know, and, and, <laughs> and you saw that penny, like, my mom, she, she came good, through there. That's a yeah. good point that y'all touched on because that's what I believe. I, I just said that the other day. When you... When you really put that love on mm-hmm. your kids, yeah, you man. will be mm-hmm. they will they will like pass whatever expectations that you had for, yeah. for your they will they will blow your mind on the expectations things that they can ex- succeed. Absolutely. In, you know, and, yeah. and and that's one thing that me and Aisha we do with, with our kids, you know, mm-hmm. it's it's constantly we 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 love our kids and mm-hmm. we let them know, you know, and, and we let them know that 
they can be and do whatever they want in life as long as yeah. it's positive yeah. mm-hmm. as long as you put in god first and and you really working towards whatever go you can you can manifest man Mani- manifestation is serious yeah. mm-hmm. in my household it's, mm-hmm. it's really like speak whatever you going speak into existence yeah. but at the same time while you visualizing it you you still have to somewhat regardless of whatever circumstance you in feel like you already have it mm-hmm. right and then work Believe towards it. okay That's let true. me pull at it let me pull at it let me get it mm-hmm. you know yeah. what i'm saying with kids it's so important man because you know like with my kids i tell them i love them all the time i just all the time man you got to them. and i have my daughter like all the time so man i have her that little girl man i don't know what it's something about girls the little, oh. yeah. little girls, man, it just changes a man. Yeah, it does. It does. I and, feel you. And that. so, you know, it just made me. She just made me so soft. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And um, I just be hugging on her and kissing on her. I say I love you. She like love you too, daddy. Like Aww, she and it just babies. it just make my heart melt. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so. And then when she go crazy when I leave or go somewhere <laughs> and I come back and she run up to you, you know, it's stuff like that that just mm-hmm. make you just, I don't care what you go through the whole day. Fatherhood yeah. is, is that still, right motherhood there. is still though. Yeah, Icing on the no, cake. definitely. Y'all doing definitely. y'all thing. Yeah. Motherhood, oh, yeah. Fatherhood and motherhood, man, that, that's, that's, yeah. that's serious business, it's man. It's so important, man. Serious. Men be parts of your kids' lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Women be parts of your kids. Dedicated line. father is out. I got a t shirt line. Yeah. Dedicated father. I got, you know, Clifton Powell, Big Daddy Kane supporting it. Snoop is supporting it. Snoop Dogg. And mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's a line uh, off of, based off of another song I wrote in the video I put out that featured, you know, me, you know, myself, my grandfather, who's, you know, rest in peace to him, but my dad and my son, you know, another four generation type video, mm-hmm. but some dope, authentic hip hop lyrics that, need to be out you know yeah. and um instead of making it just the song in the video we got you know nationally recognized on television i created you know the dedicated father t-shirt line and nice it's something mm-hmm. that i don't just rap about and speak about i live it that's what's up. and that's why i said with music i want to give you the reality because like i said truth wins truth truth time. really wins it does. You know, at the end of the day mm-hmm. so what's up so- what's I was gonna ask. So the book, <laughs> I was just gonna book. pick you up where yeah. you started. Done. So I can't so wait to book, come to the book signing. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm taking. You know what? To be honest with you, I'm taking my time with it, and it's just yeah. because I want to make sure that it's done the right way. Because that's my mom. Mm-hmm. I'm making Absolutely. sure that whatever I put out, and, and it's and it's going deep into like just everything that she went through, and you know, as far as being in hospice, as far as you know, uh, going through the chemo treatments, as far as going through, you know, her doctor visits and everything. And um, although my mom, you know, she experienced a lot of pain and you know everything mm. like that because it's it's kind of hard being a child and you know growing up never seeing her cry at all. My mm. mom was a strong black woman Come so on. you know she was independent she did whatever she had to do you know no whoa, 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 whoa. she didn't do whatever she had to do <laughs> within, <laughs> within <laughs> standards we get what you're saying <laughs> but um yeah you know she did you know she provided and um and so to see her go from you know a, a strong black woman to you know she was weak and you know she didn't want anyone to help her and but she she needed help and you know that had family around at, at certain times at certain times it was just me i was tired but i you know tired from going to set and then going home and i was but just you like, had oh to, yeah gosh. you did that though yeah i, I had to i that's had no up. choice you, and you know what i like to yeah. say that's where my strength comes from mm-hmm. because you know she was strong so that's my strength i have so many people that approach me and i'm like man you know my mom is passing up cancer you know my mom just passed like you know and they're on um they're on uh, medications or they have to go through therapy. And I don't knock how people deal with it, but everyone's different. For me, I prayed through my situation. Yeah. And so, you know, every now and then I'll, I'll break down. But other than that, it's just like, I'm good. You know, mm-hmm. I'm honestly good. And so I just keep moving forward with it. So with that being said, like I said, I just prefer to take my time because I want to make sure that I get every piece out there. And shout out to Anthony Dalton, who's one of my good friends, my best friends also. Yeah. He was like, you know, since so while writing your book, because I was like, you know, sometimes when writing stuff, it's like, the memories come back and I'm like, mm. gosh, you know, it's like I'm reliving the moment. And he was like, if you're going to write it, be true. You know, be true about every situation that's, that you went through. Like, yeah. you have to be that way. So right. the people who are experiencing it understand. And like, you know what? She said it. And she's and look how, you know, look how she's surviving. Right. That's right. real. Back up. Right. And so, yeah. So I'm like, you know, it's going deep. But at the same time, I do have like some funny stories that I share. Because my mom, y'all think I'm silly. My mom was 
twice as silly. And um, so I have good moments like that as well. But, you know, awesome. it's about love. You know, it's mm -hmm. about parenting. It's about relationship. You know, it's about her. And then I, I'm just looking forward to putting that out. So oh, that that's great. dope. Yeah. But then we also have Saints and Sinners coming out this, this season summer. four, y'all. Season four. Season four, season right, four right, man. Right. Yeah, we're, I'm excited. It's gonna be crazy. It is crazy. You know, I think it's well, I know. I have to I'm, I'm gonna go and binge watch Saints and Sinners. Please do. It's, Please. On, it's on Netflix right You're now. Gonna love Please. it. Yeah. Please, it's on Hulu. 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 It's on it's Netflix on. too. Is it? I thought it's I saw it. I didn't know I was, I was, I was hold up, wait, wait a minute. Wait, Let me call somebody. Saying, no, <laughs> Hulu, as I know it, <laughs> like that, I know it. I said, I'm gonna go binge watch it because I saw it, and the only thing I watch is Netflix. Okay, then. So I, 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 I swear, I mean, yeah, let's call somebody. I just text somebody. Okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Y'all so funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, we're really excited about yeah, it. Yeah, um, you know, four is uh, definitely what everyone has been waiting for. Oh, you yeah. It's, you know. So, y'all already done shot it? You no, we're, 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 we're in the process uh, of in shooting. In the process right now. Okay, yeah. so both of y'all are made a character. Uh, uh, yeah. Yes. I so mean, have just to be. Have y'all had to play opposite each other yet? We haven't. Not yet. Yeah, not, not yet. Not yet. I'm, I mean, it, it'll probably come down the line, but our characters are, like, I play um, Kendrick. I play mm -hmm. Vanessa Bell Calloway and Clifton Powell's son. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Angela. Yeah, I play the church secretary who yeah. was, uh, who was uh, Lady Ella's was uh, uh, Vanessa Bell Calloway's, you know, I play her assistant. Now, I definitely right. saw yeah. you just having got baptized. An, yeah. yeah. I got baptized in the last season. And I saw yeah. you had so an intense moment with Clifton Powell. Uh, yeah. Recently. Shouts out yeah. to Clifton Powell. He is. Get my mic off. Yeah. No, it's, it's on. It's on. <laughs> um, yeah. I, uh, let me tell you, working with Clifton and Vanessa, when I found out that they were going to be playing my parents, it automatically made me just step my acting level completely oh. up <laughs> because yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be honest they don't well not that i see it, it's like they don't miss a line right. you know what i'm saying and i mean they right. really be they are mm -hmm. on it they mm -hmm. they on it and and they, yes. and they teach me so much on and off screen the, mm -hmm. and like i said i look at clifton and vanessa like that that's my real family i mean they play my parents i use you know my real mom and dad as a substitution for them too but Clifton and Vanessa, I mean, they they don't just speak and they don't just talk to me about, you know, the business of acting. Mm -hmm. I mean, my personal life, they give me a lot of great advice on a lot of great things. And, mm -hmm. you know, just to have legends like that in the game yeah. that you could pick right. up the phone and call and just be like, yo, I, I need to ask you a question about this. It don't got to be pertaining yeah. to yeah, entertainment. Right. You know, hey, look, I need to, my son, me and my son about to do this. What you think? Mm. You know, or, or me and my wife, like talking to Vanessa about me and you know my wife hey Van Vanessa what you think you know or you know just hanging out with That's them awesome. and going out to dinner and kicking yeah. it and but at the same time when we all step foot on set and 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 Don is the same way we step yeah. foot on set we like let's let's knock this out this yeah. is our job yeah. and, and and ain't nobody coming on set to play There's you know nothing like being on set man man That's the most That's beautiful thing I, that's the I best thing, man. That. You could you could yeah. live that, on that set. Is, yeah. That is by far my yeah. favorite thing in the world to do. I know, feel set. you. It's not work yeah. when you love when you do what you love. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's I not. Mean, it's fun. It. Mm -hmm. So what's next for you, Trey? Man, I'm shooting, I'm executive producing as well a new uh television pilot called The Probe. Mm -hmm. It's shooting in Philadelphia. Um it's it's myself, uh shout out to Cortez Johnson, who's the writer, director. Derek Hammond, who's directing as well, James Hunter, who's producing it. Um, a lot of people are like comparing it to The Wire, mm -hmm. but the probe is it's about all these different characters following each other. Like the the cops are following what the guys in the streets are doing, the the lawyers are following what the cops are doing, and and every all of these different lives just intersect. It's a um <laughs> Philadelphia, Pennsylvania based television series and like Philly was one of the places like when I first started in the business, I used to do a lot of stuff in Philly mm -hmm. and um, I'm just, you know, an opportunity, this opportunity presented itself for me to produce mm -hmm. as well as starring. And I called up some of my friends, you know, JD Williams, who plays on Saints and Sinners with us, Clifton mm -hmm. Powell, um, Gilly the Kid is in it. You know what I'm saying? Emilio Sparks, whole bunch of people. Neil Carr is in it. Yeah. And um, yeah, just just so many different characters. And then I just finished a documentary my documentary is called undeniable the trey cheney story and um it's talking about how i 
you know, grew up in Forsville, Maryland, Washington, D.C., and how I got my first television gig on the wire, but in between that, some of the trials and tribulations that I had to overcome. And awesome testimonials on there from Kenny Lattimore, Big Daddy Kane, Clifton Powell, Vanessa Bell Calloway. I mean, Russ Parr, they all did these testimonials just off the love. You know, I, right. I called them and I was like, like almost getting ready to beg them because I'm like, yo, I think I got to. And as soon as I called and said, do y'all think y'all can? It was an automatic yes. Like, Trey, we got you. Just because you're a genuine person, mm -hmm. we know what you're trying to do. We're going to help you out. So, like I said, to have genuine people in the industry that they care about legends the work. Yeah, legends yeah. like Kenny Latham. Like, these people did not have to do this for me. Right. They just, they chose to do it. But Undeniable, the Trey Chaney Story documentary is um, in a couple of film festivals right now. I just got nominated for a, a nomination for Best Actor at the International Christian Film and Television Festival for this uh, film called yeah, Angels in yeah. Rockefeller. Mm -hmm. um, Pamela Perrin, <coughs> she's the director of that. We shot that right here. Another group of friends got together. Uh, Pam is a director, writer. She wanted me to foot the, for the part. We all know each other on set. Shot it right here in Atlanta. Next thing you know, a couple of film festivals picking picking it up. I get nice. nominated. I, you know, it's just That's like, awesome. just keep the work going. And then I'm working with Kwame. Kwame is producing some of my records now. Oh, that's Yeah, awesome. so I'm in the studio with Kwame, first, like, big time, legendary producer, artist that's, you know, producing my music. My album is out, Sam, strictly about music on iTunes, title, next, Spotify. Next week, next week, I will have a five-time Grammy Award winning producer and artist in the studio. Wow. I can't tell who it is. They're going to be a surprise. So I'm like, Dang. but one of the people that's coming in is an artist and he is producing her and stuff like that. So she was like, he's coming with me. I said, get out of here. He is not coming in here. She said, yeah. That's tight. So that's going to be dope. Tell me all. Tell me all. <laughs> Tune in next week. <laughs> Work together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's going to be dope. Samita, what you got going coming up? Uh, still doing more dates, singing, performing. Um, I do have a single coming out next month. We keep pushing it because we want everything to be right. Yeah. Um, but um, next month, I think May is where are we in March. We about to be in April, right? We about to be in, okay. So May, the month after that, I think we're going for May. So I should be releasing a single. I'm doing all the behind the scenes work, getting some visuals, shooting for videos. That's you know, set. setting it up. So I'm excited. I'm really excited about this. I'm. Super excited. And then, of course, just, just singing okay. and, and hanging do you, out. Do you have some uh, other music that people can listen yes, to? Yes. If you, um, I'm on the platforms, what, Spotify, iTunes. iTunes. Yeah. If you just search Shamita J, you'll see some songs come up and then you just hit play. I have an EP that I released probably like three years ago now. So that's still up there in a couple singles within the last. That's year what's so. up. Yeah. You want, you want to spit a little song, song real quick? What you want me to sing? What else? <laughs> I Whatever sing happy birthday heart. to my guy over here. Let's do it. Go ahead. There we go. Let's do it. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> yeah. Shamita J, ladies and gentlemen. Know, boy, that girl hey, no, nah, that's real. No, that beautiful voice. I know, right? Yeah. Thank nah, you. for real, I man. I know, man. You got to go. I'm going to go log on to your... Um, that's what I'm saying. Because I'm, 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 I'm an Apple that's Music subscriber. So right. I, I, that's how I have it. Thank you. Because she was, she was singing... What was the song you were singing with the guitar? Oh, best part. <laughs> yeah, best part. Yes, I love that song. Man, I was sitting there. I said, "Let me listen," because you know, I, you know, I was just scrolling through and I saw it, and I was just like, "What in the world?" <laughs> like it sounded so good. Like oh, I was just like, you. "Goodness <laughs> gracious, this girl can sing! Like oh, really can God. sing!" And you know, a lot of people, you know, they were like, "Yeah, you know, I sing." You know, what I'm saying da da da. You look at it and say, "Yeah, they can sing." <laughs> But you can sing. Thank you. Like so it amazing. sounds like really good. <laughs> great you voice. Apple Music. Um, Shamita J. Shamita J. S H E M I D A J. Mm -hmm. Trey, you want to kick what a little song? What you got coming up? Oh, well, oh, I, oh I, you I'm gonna get to mine in a minute. Okay. Shamita J. Kinky. 
Oh, oh yeah, I that that oh. was awesome. No, no, no. So the movie, <laughs> so it was an independent film. Is this it? It was yes, that's okay. me. It's an independent <laughs> film, Kinky. <laughs> I'm sorry. He said it should be the day, Kinky. That's the name face of the. Like, what? No, no. Can I explain before <laughs> you even listen? Right. No so, judgment. Sorry, girl. Thank you. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I mean, kinky, I'm a woman. I have a I know home. about that. Right. So I was able to get the um the title track on the soundtrack. So yeah, I'm dabbing in the film world in that way. And okay. so the song is called Kinky. The movie was called it. Kinky. Okay. And the film was Kinky. I was just, <laughs> you know, I was just playing a part. I told y'all I can't act. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. That was a really awesome opportunity to be on that soundtrack. From uh, Don Richardson was on there, Willie. Um, there's a couple other people that was on that soundtrack. And yours truly. Good. Yeah. Good. What's up? What's yeah. What's up? This is so dope. <laughs> so, like I was telling everybody, um, I actually told my little bits. But um getting ready to launch my film company, Rain Dance Films. Yeah. Got my first feature film coming. Um and I got two I got two three films done. Well, two films done. One is will be done in two weeks. And then I got a TV series that I'm working on. Nice. So, um, and outside of that, um, I've been cast for another TV series um, that I can't talk about. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> you know, you under that contract, can't you know, all. can't tell it. <laughs> so, I got that. Um, I got a huge, huge, major motion picture film that I will be a part of that I got to fly out to L.A. We'll be shooting in L.A., New York and here. Whoa. And with with a big, 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 big league guy. <laughs> so Whoa. um that's gonna be a dope movie. Um probably the biggest one that I've done yet. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Um and you know, um the radio show. We're doing big things with the radio show, traveling, making moves with this, and that's it. You know, I'm this just, is great, man. I'm That's just, all. Just grinding, man. It's like humble. making moves, you know. So, um, but my films will be funded, and um, they I'm gonna have a lot of different major actors in them. Call yeah. me. Call so, me. Yeah. <laughs> you know to hit yourself right, boy. Well, well done. You might be out of town. Uh, <laughs> busy, busy. I'm flowed out. <laughs> flowed out. But Blued that's out. it. So done. If you could leave one message to your listeners, yes, mm-hmm. one bit of advice, mm-hmm. what would that be? For me, I'm very spiritual, so I always say, put God first. Mm. Amen. You wake, Amen. For me, I wake up and I pray and I yep. say the I am speech. I am positive. I am inspiring. I am inspirational. Mm. I am. I am. I motivate others. So I always have like this this positive speech that I say, and I just pray and I speak that I'm going to have a good day in advance. And Whoa. that's Yeah. Like, I just started doing that too. Yeah, yeah. So like it's like the more that you continue to say it, you hear it, and therefore it manifests because you you're hearing it so much. Right. But you know what? It has it has no choice but to manifest. Right. So put God first, you know, and then just continue to be kind to one another. Mm. Wow! Yeah, Trey. <laughs> Don said like, everything for. Look, no, <laughs> like, I, 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 I gotta follow. My, that. Mine is definitely put God first, and also never give up on your dream. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it's it's serious, y'all, because a lot of people are so quick to throw in the towel, man. Mm-hmm. When things get rough, mm-hmm. and you know, when that when that rent due, that mortgage due, them light bills, when when yeah. when stuff get, you know, when when things get real, real tough, mm-hmm. I'm telling y'all, that is a sign that something mm-hmm. great is getting ready to happen. That's so true. you can't just, you know, just isolate yourself and and mm-hmm. and be feeling down and all yeah. that. I mean, that that means something is getting ready to happen. All you got to do is just keep moving forward. Yeah. I'm only saying this from experience. Right. You know, I'm not I'm not telling nobody this from, you know, think something that I heard. You right. know, I mean, it's been times, man, especially in this business where things will get rough, but I've always been like it could be worse. Mm-hmm. Right. So if I still, you know, if I still can walk and walk mm-hmm. walk that path and and walk through and push through, move forward, that's that's what I'm here to do. So I mean, like I said, man, y'all just don't give up. Just keep striving, keep going. 
whatever you want to happen in life, God first. And, you know, just continue to work on self and, and visualize yeah. it. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Shamina? Definitely God first. Um, and then, right. God is so good. Yeah. So, so Amen. good. Um, and then believe that you are enough to become what he created you to be. Like, mm-hmm. it wasn't no coincidence. It wasn't a mistake. It wasn't a, oh, my gosh, there was extra clay believe. and <laughs> boom, <laughs> Don was created. <laughs> you know? <laughs> right. It was definitely intentional. And he created us to all be something great. Believe that you can live up to that and become that person. And love yourself. Mm-hmm. Love yourself. So love yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. On that note. <laughs> wrap up the show um i want to thank you guys oh oh thank you right <laughs> done yes. how can people find you people can find me on all sh- social media platforms my first and last name was just spelled d-a-w-n-h-a-l-f I got a long, I got a long name. And I'm like, dang, the show about to be over. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <coughs> but it's um Don Halfkenny, D A W N H A L F K E N N. But there's only one Don Halfkenny. It's though. only one. You know what? It it's is, and, and that's a name you it don't is. forget. And I'm telling you, I'm rapping for this Halfkennys. <laughs> I'm rapping hard. Yeah, because yeah, I don't know nobody else named Halfkenny. I, like, that's, that's, I, I don't. I don't this. either. Yeah. That's unique. You right, know? I got some right. cousins here. You know, Don Hefkin, I, I actually do. Right. I <laughs> yep. Trey. Um, they can find me on social media as well. Uh, Instagram is Mr. Trey Chaney. That's M R T R A Y C H A N E Y. Uh, Twitter is just Trey Chaney. It's T R A Y C H A N E Y. And Facebook, Trey Chaney. Mm-hmm. And then one of my other pages is Trey Poop Chaney. <laughs> the Wire fans they they created that, and I'm I've respond. I got the passwords and everything, so I'm on all of them joints. <laughs> Y'all, it really be me. You know what I'm saying? It don't be nobody on my pages telling you what I want them to right, say. Right. No, nah, it, it's me. It's- so man, y'all make sure y'all follow me. I'm always putting out inspirational, you know, videos. I'm always like doing these pep talks on social media and really just trying to encourage and motivate. Mm-hmm. Nice. Now, are you one of those people that, you know, respond to your fans or y'all? Oh, that, yeah. That, because, you know, I, I think one of the, and, and promote yourself consistently. Because mm-hmm. when I say, like, Kevin Hart, one of the busiest oh, dudes, yeah. but he is always, <clears throat> he is always promoting himself. Mm-hmm. I just be like, man, nobody, because they be like, man, you know, I, yeah, I know. When I went to LA to the Atlanta film market, mm-hmm. The guy who runs that whole thing asked the question and wanted to me. He said, "Why do you think that the the uh, Denzel Washingtons and you know those big actors get paid the money they get paid?" Everybody was just sitting there thinking. And somebody said, "Cause they good actors." He's like, "Nah." He said, "It's because of what comes with them." Yeah. So if you get Denzel Washington, you're going to get media, you're going to get mm-hmm. all type of interviews, you're mm. going to get just because he's associated with mm. it. You know what I'm saying? That's why he get paid the big money because his na- he's made himself great by promoting himself and being out there in the limelight and, you know, great, you know, camaraderie on sets and stuff like that. So, yeah, I just want to let everybody know that that kind of stuff is very important, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, very important. Yeah. You can find me on Instagram. I'm an Instagrammer. Mida J M I D A J A Y. That's me. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean I, I do, but Shamita Joseph, if you want to find me there, Shamita J S H E M I D A J. But really, <laughs> if you go to Instagram, because <laughs> it's a lot to balance. So I I I, I do a lot on Instagram. So create. Well, you do everything on Instagram. You can send it to your Facebook. Mm-hmm. I can. You're right. So starting today, I will be sending. <laughs> <laughs> I will be sending items to my uh, Facebook, and that's Shamita J S H E M I D A J. Yeah. And create just create an IG account and follow me on M I D A J Y. Or just create a fan page on Facebook. And, and I'll and Yeah, you're right. <laughs> um mm-hmm. and you can find me under my name, Wardell Richardson. Mm-hmm. Not too many of me out there. <laughs> well, I take that back. It's after a guy who started following me with the exact same name. I said, Man, where you come from? He said, I just started following you because your name's same. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> I think we should know each other. <laughs> but um um 
under my name, W A R D E L L Richardson. Mm-hmm. Put that in. You can find me anywhere. I always tell people in this industry as much as I can. You know, go with your name so people can find you easily. Mm-hmm. Right. Don't be putting Don't no be different like, name. No, my name is Skyrocket Luke. You know, Undis- all that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Underscore, <laughs> period. <laughs> <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Like, really? Like, nobody going to find you like that. You wow. know, um, go, go, with, go with whatever works with you, you know, and, and go with your name. Whatever your stage name is or whatever, use that. Milk that in everything you do. You know, yeah. make your name great. You know, just like Trey Chaney, you know. I, Trey Chaney. We I'm, learned I'm some new things. Hey, that's not even your real name. Right. So, I, you know, so I hey. got to put my stage name. I feel bamboozled. Right. Who am I sitting beside? <laughs> who, who are you? Who is Sam? <laughs> yeah. On that note, we are signing out today. Make sure you tune in next week. Um, I do have an artist coming in, Ivy Ray. She'll be, a, uh, she'll be performing. She'll be opening up the show at the Atlanta Actors Awards. And then I have Keisha Rose coming in, who's also an honoree at the Atlanta Actors Awards. Yeah. So, you know, the, and the Atlanta Actors Awards is April the 7th. It's the third annual Atlanta Actors Awards at the Port of Sanford, the third Performing Arts Center. Um, tickets are on the Eventbrite, or you can call 678-235-1611. Um, make sure you go on our site on on WCEG Wood, the online Hollywood of the South, or WCEG TalkRadio.com. We have posted um, the trip to Jamaica. Um, if you want to go there, uh, tickets right now are going for around five round trip or so. And the rooms are looking at like, what, around $80 a night? $80 a night at, a, at, a, at the Palms Resort in mm. the Grill. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, so... And I'm telling you, we partying. So, Ooh. all right, you know, if y'all <laughs> get off my face, if y'all can get off, you know, if y'all, if y'all have to get off and ain't doing nothing, and want to take a little vacay and get away and be somewhere for less than a thousand dollars for four or five days. Oh yeah, I'm like, yeah, we go. Pull up, you know what I mean. So, um, it's gonna be a lot of fun. You know, we're gonna party our hearts out, and um, I look, I hope everyone can come out and celebrate with us once again. Thank everyone who came to my birthday celebration this past weekend. Yay. It was off the heezy. You know, I had the biggest cake in history. <laughs> that thing was gigantic, and uh, they told me that um, they had it was red velvet cake, mm. buttercream icing. That sounds good. Favorite. I don't think I got an invite like though. Mm. I, I Delicious. I don't think you invited me. Probably because you weren't on Facebook. Uh-uh. But, uh, but I put it out me. there. I put it out there on on Instagram as well. I put it everywhere. I, you know I had a commercial I that went with it, so it was out there. Um, but you know, it was a great time. I really enjoyed myself. So thank everyone for coming to my birthday celebration. I was so nervous, and y'all made it very comfortable for a brother. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, you know what I mean. So, um, with that being said, we are signing out. God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in. Shamita J, thank you for coming. Thanks for having me. Don Half Kenny, thank, thank you for you. coming. And Trey Chaney. <laughs> thank you, my brother. Thank you for Peace. coming, man. Y'all some busy people and y'all made time for me, so I truly appreciate you for that. I appreciate you. And we are out. Peace. Bye. Let me do it. You wanna talk about it? We gon' talk about it. You wanna talk about it? That Hollywood of the South. We gon' talk about it. That Hollywood of the South. We gon' talk about it. That Hollywood of the South. We gon' talk about it. That Hollywood of the South. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. Let me do it. W C E G. Hollywood of the South. We gon' talk about it. That Hollywood.